Eternabon tape or lap sealant for the RV roof? This is sort of a big debate amongst RVers and kind of a controversial subject. Which one should you use and why? Well, we're going to go over the pros and cons of each one, and then I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the installation process of the Eternabon tape. So, don't go anywhere. To return a bond or not to return a bond? That is the question. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Why Wait. For those of you new to the channel, I'm Chris, and today we're going to talk about somewhat of a controversial subject in the RV community, and that's whether or not to put down Eternabond tape on the roof of your RV. So this is actually a project that I've been wanting to do for a few years now, and I just keep putting it off. I just haven't got around to it. And I finally got down to it, got up there, and started putting down the Eternabond tape. So why would you want to use Eternabond tape versus the lap sealant that comes from the manufacturer? So over time, the self-leveling lap sealant that you already have on your RV roof is going to deteriorate, it's going to crack, it's going to start peeling and pulling apart, which will obviously lead to leaks. So you have to go up on your roof and you have to inspect it at least once a year, check for all these cracks, check for the fading and cracking, and you have to reapply the self-leveling lap sealant. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Nobody really wants to go on the roof every year and reapply this self-leveling sealant. But to protect your RV from water damage, you really need to. And the thing is, you can only do that three or four times, applying new lap sealant directly on top of the old lap sealant. Eventually, you're going to have to just remove all of the lap sealant, and that is not an easy job. And then start over again, apply the new lap sealant, and then every year, keep adding to it. So an alternative to doing this would be to use Eternabond tape which will last anywhere from 18 to 35 years. 18 to 35 years. This stuff is pretty much put it on and you're done. You don't have to go up there anymore and apply it ever again. 18 to 35 years. I know that's going to actually last a lot longer than I'm going to own my RV. And it's actually going to last a lot longer than the roof membrane itself. So if I can get 10 years out of your Turner Bond tape, I'll be happy as can be. Now don't get me wrong, even after you've returned a bond tape, the whole RV roof, you still need to go up there once a year and just inspect things and make sure everything's still looking okay. Our return a bond tape is made from a company called HB Fuller. And this tape creates a waterproof seal and it's also UV resistant. You can see right here, this is a piece on my roof that I've had up there for almost five years when we had just the smallest little puncture. I applied this piece of return a bond tape almost five years ago and there is no signs whatsoever of it peeling, uh, leaking, pulling apart, fading, cracking, anything like that. It's in way better condition than any of my lap sealant that I pretty much just applied the previous year before. Now, this will get dirty just like anything else, but it simply just cleans up just the same way as the roof of your RV would clean up. So, what's the big debate with the Turnabon tape? Why is it kind of a controversial subject then? Well, a lot of people claim that it can be an issue because, well, it's hard to remove. So if you get, say, a cracked skylight or you need to change out a vent fan or something like that, it can be sort of what they say a nightmare to remove. Well, in my opinion, I would consider that a pro, not a con, because that's what I want. I want something up there that is holding down, sealing it down, and, and creating a super tight waterproof bond that is extremely hard to remove. Now, you can remove your turn bond tape. It's not impossible, and there's ways to go about it, and we can touch base on that later. But for me, again, that would be a pro. So if it's such good stuff, why do RV uh, manufacturers not use this from the get-go when they make these? Well, there's a few reasons. One uh, would be that it's a little bit more expensive than just using lap sealant. So uh, it's a cost thing. And the next thing would be timing. It takes a lot longer to uh, Eternabond tape a whole roof of an RV than it would to use lap sealant. So when they're trying to pump these RVs out the door and get them out, um, they're just going to go with the faster, cheaper method is one of the things that I would assume. I think you also see some backlash from the uh, RV repair community, basically uh, RV techs and shops that deal with doing RV repairs. Well, they're in business and uh, repairing roofs and resealing them is probably a big part of their business. And I'm assuming that, you know, if you have to go in all the time to get new sealant put down, that's just good business for them. And if you're using your turnabond tape and you never have to bring the RV in, to get any kind of roof repairs done, well, that's not good business for them. So that may be some of the backlash that comes from certain areas of the community. 
Uh, I love the idea of a turnabond tape. I've known some people have been using it for a long time. I've used it a few times. I've never had any issue with it. But now I'm ready to go ahead and do the whole RV and seal everything up so I just don't have to deal with the lap sealant ever again. It's sort of like the same RV controversy of do you keep your propane on while going down the road or do you shut your propane off? You know, you guys have to make the best decision for you, what works for you. All you can do is do your research and then choose what you want to go with. I am not an RV tech. This is just a project that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've done my own research and I believe that this is the best way and the best route to go when trying to protect your RV from water damage and keep your roof sealed up and everything looking good. And again, I will say that this project is not a beauty contest. Things probably won't look as clean and as uniform and as neat and nice up there, but this is about protecting your investment and keeping things leak free for years to come. So let's go over the installation process, some of the tools that you need, and basically the cost of this project. Now, before you do anything, if you're going to install the internal tape and do this modification, I definitely recommend that you go ahead and check your existing lap sealant that's up there. If it is already cracking, if it is flaking, if it is pulling up from your roof membrane, well, you need to go ahead and address that issue first. And if you're going to do that, if you're going to put down any new lap sealant, I would give this about one to two months for that to really cure before you start doing the Eternabond tape process modification. So I have two rolls of 50 foot Eternabond tape, 50 foot long, two rolls of that, and I have a 25 foot long roll, each of which are four inches thick. You can get this in, I believe, in two inch thickness or six inch thickness. This is what I went with. The total cost I spent so far was $165 on the tape and this little roof roller right here, which you can use to press down the edges, or you can just really use your thumb. I found that using both methods kind of work. You can actually seem to get a lot more pressure just using your thumb and hand when pushing down this tape. That's what activates it. That's what seals it, creates that waterproof seal. So when you take the cost of doing this once and pretty much being done with it, versus spending anywhere from probably $200 to $250 on a case of lap sealant every year or two, this is also going to save you money in the long run. There's no doubt on that. Now, just for comparison reasons, I have a 41 foot fifth wheel. I have four slide outs and I'm going to seal up all of the edges going all the way around the RV. Basically where the roof membrane meets the edges and tucks underneath. That's the most important part. In fact, if anything, if you're going to do this project, and you don't want to seal up the lap sealant areas, I would recommend just doing these side seams. This is where a lot of times the roof membrane actually starts to pull up. It's also an area where you tend to find a lot of small holes and cracks. So if anything, you can just turn a bond all of these side areas to secure that part of your roof. Okay, with that said, let's go over the installation process. Let's say your lap sealant's all good to go, you're happy with it. So the first thing you want to do is clean it. Uh, I just use Gabe's Pride. It's a, a soap that I've been using for a while. Dawn dish soap, Murphy's oil soap, anything will work just fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be like sparkling white. You just want to get any loose dirt and contaminants up off the old lap sealant before you apply the Eternabond tape. Now, Eternabond tape does actually make a cleaner and a primer, but I will say both products are a little bit pricey and I've never had an issue in the past uh, using Eternabond tape without using one of these. So as you can see, I'm just going to scrub everything down real good, rinse it off. And then just as an extra precaution, I'm going to go ahead and use some acetone and clean up any of the old lap sealant just in case there's any soap residue left over. This probably isn't necessary, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take the time out and do it. Again, you can use acetone or you can use some alcohol or you can even use that Eternabond primer, which is basically just an acetone. So again, even if you aren't a fan of the Eternabond tape and you wanna keep using lap sealant, I would recommend, if anything, just doing the factory edges here where your roof membrane meets the sides of the RVs, an area where you really can't put down self-leveling lap sealant and you really can't seal it with anything else. And that's where I'm going to start, slowly putting this tape. I'd like to use one whole section to go down the whole side. That's why I have a 50-foot roll. I'm going to do my 41-foot sides and I'm going to just slowly go down and just peel it off as I go. As you can see, you just slowly pull the backing off and you want to just activate this by pressing down with your thumb real good. And you want to come down far enough, as you can see right here, you don't want to come down into your gutter, but right here where I'm pointing is where you want to about come about halfway down with the tape. It's not going to always look perfect. And again, remember, this isn't a beauty contest. This is more about function over looks. And the idea is just to make sure that you're sealing everything up real good. As long as you just make sure you press down those edges super good and get a good seal on both edges, you won't have to worry about any water getting underneath this. 
I have areas of mine where things look really good, it looks smooth, it looks nice, and I do have a few other areas where I have some creases and things like that. Running a 41 foot piece of tape down the side of an RV when you're working from a ladder or leaning over the roof isn't the easiest thing in the world. And if anything, try to make it look real good on the edges of the RV that you can actually see from standing on the ground. Because again, not everybody's going to get on your roof and be looking up there to see how good it looks. Now there's really no set process or way you have to do this. Remember, a turnabond tape sticks to a turnabond tape. So you can easily go over uh, other pieces of turnabond tape, which you're going to have to do in a lot of places. So you can start with the sides, the front, the back. It really doesn't matter. I went ahead and started on the back of my RV. Then I did the two sides and I overlapped that onto the back piece of tape. And then I'll do my front cap last and I'll put two sections there to cover the wide uh, piece of lap ceiling that's holding down my roof membrane at the front cap where it meets the front cap. After that, I'm going to go ahead and do my slide outs. I want to do again the edges of the roof membrane where it folds over the sides. I'm even going to go over these screws and, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my vent fans and everything on top of the camper, all the areas where the ladder meets the roof and things like that. And by the way, guys, if you do have these Max Air vent covers like we do, you're going to want to go ahead and remove these so you can apply the turnabond tape over the lap sealant, which you really don't have access to unless you remove these. Now I showed you guys how a piece of mine has been holding up for the past five years. But if you want to see how this project looks after about a year of it being done, go check out my buddy Ross over at RV Tips and Travels. He did this project a few years ago and then he followed it up with a uh, revisit to the project after it had been there for a year and you can go check that out and see how well his tape looks and everything how it's been holding up after a year. He has a really excellent channel and tons of helpful videos so if you kind of like my videos and the stuff that we do over here at Wait, you should definitely go over there and check him out as well. He's got some good content. So again, you guys can comment down below if you want what you think about this project, if you're team a turnabond tape or team lap sealant, it's okay. I'm sure I'm going to get tons of comments about why people love it, why people hate it, why you shouldn't do it, why you should do it, and then you got to do your own research, do what's best for you. There's nothing wrong with using the self living lap sealant, and doing this project isn't some kind of just like laziness factor, like, oh, I want to do this because I don't want to ever get back on my roof and inspect it and things like that. I just feel like the Eternabond tape is a superior product to the lap sealant and anything that's going to last what they say 18 to 35 years versus continuously going on my roof and reapplying lap sealant, well for me, that's the way to go. And if the only downside or con of using the Eternabond tape seems to be the fact that it's hard to get off, well, I'm okay with that. That's what I'm looking for. Hey guys, as always, appreciate you stopping by, checking out the channel, watching the video. Remember, get out there, start your full-time RV travels because why wait? We'll see you guys next week.